Hey everyone, Sweet Johnny Cage here. Welcome to the first guide in a series of guides for The Legend of Zelda A Link to the Past. A little bit of background on me, I am a former A Link to the Past speedrunner. I speedran the game back in about 2003 to 2005. I was the first person to do a 100% world record uh, run for the game, uh, but that was a long time ago. I am nowhere near as good as one I used to be and two anyone running the game these days. That said though, my guides for Link's Awakening on this channel were very popular, some of my most popular videos that I've ever put out. So I decided to create guides for a game that I know extremely well, and if these do well, I might go back and do other Zelda games. Why not? So the way I style my guides is I just sort of play through, provide commentary, and since I'm a former speedrunner of this game, I can provide uh, some extra color and some other things that you might want to try as you play. Starting out, this first guide is going to be for the Hyrule Castle Dungeon. You'll notice that after I leapt out of bed with Link, I skipped that first chest. And the reason that I skipped that chest is because there is a rule in the intro to this game that the first chest you open will contain the lamp. So what we're going to do, this is completely optional, you can get the lamp right there if you want, but we are going to skip every chest until we rescue Zelda. So we're going to follow these uh, stones on the path, and it's clearly outlining where we need to go. There's going to be a conspicuous looking bush that we need to lift up and then fall into the pit that is revealed. We walk up to Link's uncle, and he gives us our first sword. An interesting tidbit, in the Game Boy Advance version, Link's uncle, uh, I think, says, take the sword, it is your destiny, or something like that, whereas in the SNES version, he says, Zelda is your dot, 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 and then he passes out. So weird line change there. So we are going to cut down these bushes. Uh, we gotta deal with a couple of guards. Something uh, important to note with uh, guards in general in this game is guards that uh, have a shield and a sword already sticking out, those guys can see you and they will react to you. The other guys, as exemplified by that guard to our right right now, those guards uh, will not do anything. They just sort of uh, do their own AI path and they will ignore any actions you take. Even if you're hitting them, they won't directly attack you. But if you touch them, you take damage. So we need to come into this north room here. There are two paths. We can either take the east path or the west path. I took the west one, just a little bit quicker. But coming down here, we're in the dungeon proper. So we need to kill this blue guard here. And blue guards uh, require three sword slashes or one sword spin and an extra slash. I'm skipping the dungeon map. I'll be skipping those throughout these runs. They are not important in this game and often just kind of waste a little bit of time if you get them. Same thing with the compass, not gonna get those. So we need to avoid these pits here. And I'm gonna do a little trick in this room here that can help you out. There are two green guards, but if you wait for a second and then come all the way up north to the barrier, the guards will be all the way south and you can just walk around them so they don't notice you. In this room, I draw my sword, do a spin attack, and green guards die in one sword spin. We've got a blue guard in here, so we're just gonna poke him into the wall, and then sometimes you could uh, time a sword spin and take care of him really quick. Uh, other times you can't. This chest right here has the boomerang. Uh, since this is not a speed run or anything, I am going to get this boomerang. Alternatively, if you're going for 100% or even if you're not, it's actually just quicker sometimes to get the red boomerang in Thieves Town. It's in a specific chest. Uh, if you ignore the blue boomerang, you can get the red boomerang automatically out of a chest in Thieves Town. Not the dungeon, the actual town in the Dark World. So we're going to descend further into the dungeon. We're going to kill this green guard here. And then there is going to be a uh, ball and chain enemy, I forget his name, uh, but we're going to just pick up two pots and kill him. If you miss with the pots, you can just slash him with your sword. I think he takes like 12 slashes or something like that. It's been like over a decade since I've had to kill him with my sword. Um, I never really liked that method uh, without using the pots. So you can just uh, slash him a bunch and he'll go down. And he gives you the big key and then you can unlock the cell, open the chest for the lamp, talk to Zelda, go through her dialogue, and now she's following you and it's time to make your escape. So we're just going to basically backtrack the way we came, um, but we can take a shortcut once we reach the, the bigger room um, on the next floor. Uh, you, If you try to go outside with Zelda, I actually haven't tried this since probably like 1992 when I first played this game when I was like four or five years old. Uh, I think if you go outside with Zelda, she goes back to her cell, so don't go outside. Although I'm not sure if she actually lets you go outside. If you die, she'll go back to her cell, so don't die, but this is just the intro of the game, so you should be fine. So this is the shortcut here. You can just ignore all the guards and just pop down and then go back into the room with the map and head back up the stairs into the castle. All right, so once back here, I'm just gonna backtrack a little bit more. 
Gonna go down the west path now. And then we're just gonna ignore these guards. Oddly enough, that one guard looked right at us and then kept looking another way, but he saw us when we were walking past him. All right, go through this door, and you're gonna get a mandatory dialogue here from Zelda saying there's a secret passageway in the throne room. So we're gonna go up the staircase here, and then go up this next staircase to the next floor. Once on the second floor, you wanna ascend this sta staircase, sorry, and then you want to go up to the ornamental shelf, and then she will mention to you that you can move it aside as long as you have the lamp. So if you don't have the lamp in your inventory, the shelf won't move, but if you do have the lamp, it will move, so just a heads up. All right, so once you go into the secret passageway, uh, things get really dark, and there's gonna be some mice around. Uh, they move a little bit erratically, so you wanna try to use your boomerang to freeze them. I'm gonna use my boomerang here on the ropes, or the snakes, uh, but there's two in one there, and I didn't even notice. Uh, sometimes that does happen, so just be very careful when going through that room. Give me two ropes here. We're gonna stun one, and then you can ignore the keys for now, just hug the wall, but he will move, and then uh, you can get the key and go to this north room here. In this sewer section, uh, Zelda will have another dialogue box pop up, and then we just want to head west through this room. And then we need to find the exit to the north of this room, so just head north and west, kill this keys. In this next room, there's going to be a mouse with a key. It's going to be this one to the left every single time. Sometimes that mouse is hiding up in an alcove to the north there, but it's always going to be that mouse that drops the key every single time. All right, so in this room, we have more mice. Like I said, these guys move very erratically. Uh, they pause at random times. They can even go back and forth sometimes. So just as you saw there, that one mouse just turned around. So got to be very careful. This room, same thing. Sometimes a mouse can come right at you as soon as you're exiting the staircase. Here, we're going to skip a dialog box just by holding right. Just a little trick you could do. And then we need to hold this right lever and then pull down and then walk through the final door. We are inside the sanctuary. There is a heart container in that chest for your troubles. It's optional, but we'll get it in the next guide for the Eastern Palace. And that's it. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment. I'll do my best to help you out. You can also join my community Discord. The link for that is in the video description below. If you are looking for more guides for The Legend of Zelda, A Link to the Past, please subscribe to the channel so you get alerted when new guides go live. If you're interested in supporting the channel monetarily, please consider becoming a channel member by clicking the blue join button below this video. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter and on Twitch. And as always, I'll sweet Johnny Cage. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.